Tribal leaders from across the state say they are upset by Governor Kevin Stitt's State of the State speech yesterday. There are several issues where the tribes and governor disagree. Fox 23 weekend anchor Rick Marinon is live in studio tonight after he talked to the governor about the controversy over tribal car tags. Rick. Last month, there was a glimmer of hope that things were going to progress this year. But after Monday's speech, if the tribes strike any more deals with the governor, they will come to that bargaining table reluctantly. The disgust on the faces of Oklahoma's tribal leaders during the State of the State said it all. And I think we do a wonderful job. Always room for improvement, but we can only improve if we work together. But it's those hard feelings between the tribes and Governor Kevin Stitt that could lead to problems for green country drivers who have tribal tags. It's like I'm in a twilight zone think, trying to explain to Oklahoma why that's not right. But the media sometimes says, well, Governor Stitt doesn't like... Uh, the tribes. That's, that's not true. Governor Stitt wants to be fair with all four million Oklahomans. Governor, Governor Stitt's a business guy and he knows that our turnpikes and our roads and bridges won't have the funds like we want to be a top 10 state in the future if we don't have one set of rules. In an exclusive interview with Fox 23, Stitt says he is seeking completely new agreements between tribes in eastern Oklahoma on tribal license plates. If the Cherokee and Creek nations want their tribal compacts renewed, they must accept Stitt's terms already negotiated with other tribes like the Chickasaws. I think everybody should pay the same. If we want to make it $400, let's make them $400. But in good conscience as governor, I can't say that an African-American single mom has to pay $2,655 and a doctor in Tulsa that happens to be Cherokee doesn't pay that much. Stitt says his bottom line on new tribal tag compacts is the state must get a portion of that money for roads and bridges. They must also be able to be identified by the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority for toll payments, and they need to be identified by law enforcement. It's that final point that had drivers with tribal tags accusing Stitt of using troopers to go after them and issue double tickets. Did you sick the highway patrol on people with tribal tags? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't get involved with uh, telling them how to do their job. I just say enforce the law and make sure that you're treating everybody fairly. Stitt says he supports troopers enforcing an old court ruling that drivers with tribal tags cannot drive off of tribal lands they didn't help fund. He says his new terms will end this controversy once and for all. Some tribes say Stitt is wrong, and their tribes can be easily found in another system law enforcement also has easy access to in the field. I reached out to Chief Hoskins' office today for a comment, but I was told he was not available, making things even more complicated when it comes to the Cherokee Nation's compact with tags. Tulsa Public Schools gets about $1 million of that Cherokee tag money right now. Hoskin warned state lawmakers last fall if that compact cannot be renewed, he doesn't know what could happen to that TPS money. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.